Hey everybody, I'm going to show you guys how to make this weeping willow tree. Let's go ahead and do this. Well, Alright, now let's go ahead and put one right here. Now keep in mind, these type of trees are going to be next to the water. Now let's go ahead and take this block here on up by 8. This is going to be the trunk. Now you guys can use any old block that you want for the actual trunk itself. But I'm just going to use oak wood. Now come up by 8 blocks with your choice of block here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now once you've come up by 8 blocks, then what we're going to do guys, I'm going to make this very easy. I'm going to use two different type of blocks here for the structure of the tree now this type of tree is very very important on how you have the structure of this so that's why I'm gonna make it simple as possible so go ahead and choose a temporary block and what you're gonna need to do is come up like this on all four sides of this trunk here just like that and now what we're gonna do is we're going to come up like this it's going to be a total of three blocks. So come up like this. Total of three there. And you're going to do the same thing on all four sides of this tree. And once you've got that, then you're going to come down like this. And then down by two like that. So go ahead and do the same thing on, on the rest here. Well, Alright, now you should have this here. Now go ahead and choose another temporary block and you're going to come out diagonal just like this. And you're going to do this on all corners. Alright, now once you've got that, then you're going to come up like this here and you're going to do the same thing on all corners here. So come up two like that. And then you're going to come down diagonal like this. And then diagonal again. And one more and then add one right there. So go ahead and do the same thing on all the others. Well, Alright, now you should have something like this here. Now once you have this, then go ahead and choose your choice of fence. Now I'm going to use the oak fence, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and place this oak fence on all the gold blocks. And make sure when you place it down like this, that you connect it on up like this here. And then when you come down right here, do just like that. And then add two more right here. One two like that so go ahead and do the same thing on all of the gold so again come up take it on down again add two here connect that up and then come down by two well, alright now you should have this here now the whole point in doing the temporary blocks is to place it much easier and have a structure to the tree so that's why I decided to do this type of tree because there is somewhat of a structure to it alright now what we're gonna do is go ahead and do the same thing on these blocks here it's gonna be a little bit more trickier and I'm gonna show you on what we're gonna do so when you place these like this alright now when you connect these on up it's gonna look like this so it's gonna come out this way then instead of doing it like that come out this way now when you come down come down like this now you don't have to make it perfect like this here because we're gonna cover all these fences up with some leaves but again it's nice to have some structure here to have it zigzag like this just looks a little bit better so come down like this here and because it comes out this side I'm gonna make it go on this side and then once more just like that 
Now, when you come down right here, you're going to come down like this. And then you're going to add two more right here. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because not all trees are perfect and it's going to be covered up with some leaves. So go ahead and do the same exact thing on all the rest. Well, all right, now you should have this here. Now what we're going to do before we take out these temporary blocks, we're going to do a little bit more branches on this. So let's go ahead and do this gold blocks first, the blocks that are off the side. What we're going to do is take this one here, the middle block. We're going to take it out and we're going to add four right here. So one, two, three, and four. And then once you've done that on all the gold ones or whatever blocks you use, let's go ahead and take out those temporary blocks like this. So I'm going to do it one more time off the gold again. So it's going to be right here in the middle. Take this out and go one, two, three, and four. And then once you've got that, then take out the blocks. Now do that on all the gold ones or the ones off the side here. And the diagonal ones, what we're going to do is take this one. Okay. We've got these two together and it comes down by one. Be this one here. Take that one out and add four. So one, two, three, and four. So go ahead and do that on all of them. So one more time on this one. Take this one out and go one, one, two, three, and four. And then take out these as well. So go ahead and do that on all of them. Well, all right, now this is what it should look like once you have all your temporary blocks taken out. Now once you've got that, go ahead and go right here in the middle and take this trunk on up by two. One, two. Connect that on up. Be a total of 12 blocks with your trunk. Now go ahead and choose your choice of leaf. I'm going to use the acacia and it's going to be very simple on how we're going to do this. So for example, you're going to be placing this on all four sides of the fence. So that's the top. So that's one side. This is the side of it. So that's side two, side three, and up under it will be side four. So what you're going to do is hide the fence all the way around the fence. I'm going to do this one here just to show you. So come right here, go down right here, very simple, self-explanatory, place it on there. And then right here what we're going to do is come on down and take it even to it like that. And then off of this one you're going to add two, one, two, just like that. And then off the side here. Cover this side up, come down, just like that, and then go ahead and hide this part of the fence up, just like that. So let's go ahead and do side three, right over here. Again, guys, this is really easy, really self-explanatory. All you're going to be doing is hiding the fence. And then up under, you're just going to do something like this here. All right, now we'll come back to this here. Don't worry about that right now. So go ahead and do this same technique on all of them. Well, all right, now once all of your fence is covered up, it should look something like this here. Now don't worry, we're gonna roughen it up a little bit because it looks a little bit too perfect right now. But first, go ahead and take the leaves and go right here in the middle and just add two of them right there. We'll come back to that, so don't worry about that. Now, come right down here, and we're going to do the same thing on these here that we came down by four. So, the same technique. So, I'm going to do one right here, and you guys can do the rest. So, come down like this, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Cover up all four sides like that. Now, instead of coming down by two like what we've been doing, the ones on the inside, we're going to only come down by one. So go ahead and do all the rest. Well, all right, now once all of your fences is covered up, it should look something like this here. Now once you've got this, go ahead and go right up top and take your leaf block 
and go in random places just like this. You don't want this tree to look real perfect looking because not all trees is perfect looking. But again, you need to keep the structure and the shape of this tree. So do as I'm doing here, go in random places, keep the structure of the tree, but at the same time, go in random places all over the tree as well as up under the tree up under here as well so again keep the structure of the tree the same don't change any of it but just kind of go around and push it out just a little bit all over and there you go guys i hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial if so please hit that like let me know what you think down below and i'll see you all next time